This week I went backpacking. It was really, really fun. I've never been backpacking before, but I went and I guided them and they lived. So I'm thinking I could probably do it a few more times. So if you guys want to come again, I think you definitely should because it's really, really fun. So come, I don't know you, but I want to. Aha, uh -huh, in a non-creepy way, awesome. Bye. Oh, it's just heartbreaking. 19-year-old Linnea Lomax missing 10 weeks when her mom, Marianne, found her body. Linnea had killed herself. Mar Mark Class helped the family search for her back when she was missing for those 10 weeks. Mark, describe what you saw the Lomaxes go through every time there was a lead and then a letdown. Well, Drew, we spoke many times before Class Kids really got involved. I was trying to, um, I, I was trying to counsel the family as best I could and put them on the path where we thought they should be going, which was doing a physical search. That took a number of weeks. Um, we did finally go up there. I think on the very third day of the search, we were able to locate Linnea's backpack. It, it was obvious the pain that the parents were in. It's something that unfortunately I see on a regular basis whenever we get involved in one of these cases. You start out with an enormous amount of hope and it just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks until you're almost walking a tightrope of, of hope. Ultimately, what happened, and this is why I, I counsel against parents going out on searches and why I personally didn't go out on a search myself. Ultimately, Marianne would not be denied. She had to go out. She had to look for her daughter. And the worst possible scenario, um, the first possible scenario uh, happened. She is the one who found her own daughter. And I just wish that I could take that back and have it have been somebody else. And, and yet, Marianne, you, you, you prayed to find her. Yes, I did. In one way or the other. Yes, the whole week. So... Yeah, and I got right on her. So I believe that it's an answer to prayer. Is, is there somebody to blame here for this? For what? For what happened to your daughter. You know, this show tonight is about outrage. It's easy for me to get outraged at the insurance company because yeah. maybe the doctors knew something, but they couldn't convince the insurance companies. Maybe your daughter was hiding the fact that she was suicidal, was embarrassed about it. I, I, I think, doctor, that there are a, a lot of really big questions that need to be asked, and, and Linnea's story is screaming them. When you take a, a, a brilliant, well-rounded, healthy UC Davis student um, and within a, a few weeks um, put them missing out on the streets and now we know dead uh, to, to suicide and you have parents that, well, at least a mom, and, I, and, I, and I'd like to think that I'm, I'm almost as good of a parent as she is, um, who would do anything for their kid. I mean, we... That's what we spent the last 19 years doing. So, um, <clears throat> and the picture of her crawling through that brush is, is and, and insisting on being out there and pushing it, is the, um, is, is the picture of the kind of parents that were supporting and would do anything would, for her. Would go so, at any length. So if you take someone who suddenly turns mentally ill but has the parenting Parental support, the family system, and yeah. yet it still ends up the way it did. Y you wonder. I yeah. mean, if this had been years of problems going back and forth, then, then maybe we wouldn't have so many big questions. But um, just a few weeks, and uh, and I understand you had a sense that something had taken over her mind. Her very self was was being oh, altered by her illness. Yeah. And your mom, you saying vigorously, yes. Yes, yes. Did, no, did she, she wasn't herself. Did she get a proper medical evaluation? Sometimes medical problems can cause these severe depressions. Did, did yeah. anybody ever do that? Was that? Yeah. When um, we took her, when we finally got her uh, from from campus, uh, the next day we were our, our physician made a uh, okay so arrangements they, for her, and he saw her and and did blood tests did on that. her. And yes. was she having trouble at school already? Is that why you got tipped off? Something was wrong. We went to visit her uh, the week before her finals um, on her birthday and um, we knew that she wasn't doing well and that she was under a lot of stress. Um, she had lost about 10 pounds in late May okay. but on on June 8th on her birthday we went to see her and um, she lost another 10 pounds. She knew something was very and, wrong. Yes and her her lip was split open in three places oh, from goodness. not eating and oh, drinking. Goodness. She was doing nothing but studi studying and she was uh, surprising us with uh, information that we could had a hard time believing, like that she wasn't trying hard and that she was 
a lazy student and that she was failing Feeling her classes. Stuff. And things later we found out none of that was true. And let's true. all, let's, for people at home, 18 to 20, well, particularly 18 to 20 is a very common, at first, that freshman year in college, a common time for mental illness to come on. Right. And uh, most schools are well aware of this and armed to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But by parents, we've got to be on top of that. That is a common time, 18 to 20, 18 to 22, but freshman year college, big year for this kind of stuff to precipitate.